Hey, what's up guys? This is probably part two of the big project that we got going on today. Um, today we're installing the Lighting Trends um, RGB kit or the Flow Series kit inside the headlights. Um, I just went ahead and took off the bumper. You can see it to the side there. Now the next step is we're gonna take out the headlights. Um, I went ahead and I took this one out first so I can know how to do it. It's my first time. And now I'm going to show you how to take this one out. Um, it's really simple. It wasn't as hard as I thought first. We're gonna have to remove these clips here so we can get this up. There's a 10 millimeter bolt under here. And then there's two bolts here. One in this dark hole and this one right here. And then two to the side. So I'm gonna go ahead, remove these clips. Uh, you can use like a flat screwdriver here to take this up. And then these clips comes out. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I went ahead and I undid the clips. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clips that we have done do, plus this part to get the rubber up. And then once you lift that up, it's gonna reveal the one 10 millimeter bolt for your headlights. So like I said, there's one atop there and about four here that I'm gonna undo right now. Okay, so once you get your four bolts out, uh, you can take this, this piece is gonna come off as easy as that. And then your lights should be loose. Alrighty, so I have my lights out. Once you get the light out from here, just remember to unscrew your fog light. This is for the DRL. And then the headlights is gonna come out with this, just unplug here. So now I gotta go put this bad boy in the oven so we can do the next segment. Okay, so before I put it in the oven, um, I have to clean it up a little bit. It's a little bit dirty. Um, then I have to take these papers off and take this carbon fiber light wrap off as well. And then we're gonna put it in the oven. Also this part, what I did with the other one was I just tucked it in here and it was fine. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then we're gonna put it inside the oven. Alrighty, so I have my light here ready to go in. What you're gonna do first is set your oven to 220 degrees. And let that preheat. And then once it's preheated, we're gonna put it in and you're gonna set it for about 15 minutes. I did the first one for about 25 minutes, almost 30 minutes, because the first 15 minutes, um, it wasn't loose enough. So we'll see how this one goes. Alrighty, so now that I got the headlight open, we are going to unscrew these pieces here so we can put the DRL LED light in there. And then on this side, we're gonna unscrew here, one, two, three screws. And then we're gonna put the halo ring on the outside or on the inside of this light here. So I'm gonna take this apart now and then I'll show you that process. And then as a little custom thing, what I'm going to do is the Dodge emblem there, I'm going to paint that in red. And then the Dodge words, I'm going to do that in black. 
and then this piece here i'm gonna spray that in black to match so i'll get that done as well so that part is finished this is optional i just wanted this as you know my own personal touch to this project um, i got this part sprayed so yeah so now we're gonna take this part this piece out so we have one two three four screws actually five because we're gonna have to take this piece off to get to that screw And also be sure to unclip the power for the DRL lights because we won't be using that anymore. Alrighty, so this section, we're gonna have to take the glass off. So there's four clips, uh, one, two on this side and the other two on this side. We're just gonna get those clips open and that should take off the front glass. Alrighty, so what's next is, um, we're gonna run this DRL light through here. Uh, first, we have to do is uh, loosen this screw just a little bit. And then the DRL light is gonna run through from behind into the bezel here. And then we're gonna make a custom hole here with a Dremel kit. And it's gonna come all the way in the back, a loop around here because it's so long, it's longer than this DRL light and I didn't want to cut it. So we're just going to loop it around here and I'll show you how that looks once we're done. Alrighty, so we got that done. So this is what I'm going to show you a little visual now. So the LED light comes through here, goes inside comes in, this is where we made that new incision right there. It comes around, loops through, and it's gonna stop right there. And we just tied wrap it just to, you know, just for more security, so it doesn't move. So now what we have to do is just undo everything that we did, put the cover back on, and put it back into the headlight. And also this is something custom that I did as well. Um, if you know my lights, I've had the, um, the carbon fiber light wrap on the top coming around to the side to cover that amber light. But now that I have this open, I just put the, the carbon fiber light wrap inside over there. So that should give it a real dark effect. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. Alrighty, so now that that is dry, we're gonna move on to the second half here, which is installing the halo lights. So the halo lights are gonna go on the outside of this frame, and the wiring is gonna be in the back. So the wiring is gonna come out like that, and then we're gonna make four incisions to the frame, uh, one at the top, basically north, south, east, and west, uh, just to secure the halo lights uh, to that frame. And then we got some um, fish, some picture hanging wire here, which we, it's kind of tiny. I'm trying to get it to focus. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna untwine this so we can use it to, to, to tie wrap it to this frame here. All right, so these are the four components of the light. So now we're finished with everything. We got this wired, everything is tied up and secured painted and customized uh, this one is done as well for the LED light running through it's coming out through there so now what's gonna happen is we're gonna put this back in this side it goes like this in this side of the headlight and then this is gonna go back here 
in this side of the headlight so just put back everything the way it was all the screws that you took out Alrighty, so just before I put the DRL light module back in, I'm gonna make an incision right here. So I can, cause this wire is the wire for the original DRL. So I'm gonna make an incision here, run it back to the back of the headlight. That way I can have access to it. I might use it for something else. This is just custom for me. I might use it for something else. So I'm gonna, uh, make that incision so I can use this cable later on all right so really quick just before I put this light in I just want to show you where this cable goes so in your headlight naturally there's some spaces here that's the space that I use to run this cable through um, so once you get the DRL module back inside it's gonna naturally run the cable back there and everything should flow in place so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just going to screw this back up and then we're going to move on to the next piece. Alrighty, so for the home stretch, we're going to use this butyl here to stretch around the grooves of the headlight and that's going to give it back that seal uh, to keep the headlights together. Uh, for this part of the wiring, it's basically the same thing. You're going to find a groove, feed that cable through and it's gonna come out through the back there. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead now, put the butyl in, stretch it while you're putting it inside the groove, and then you're gonna close the headlights. Um, I know to make it easier, you might wanna apply some heat to it while you're trying to get it closed. It might not close all the way, um, which is why I bought the sealant to just close those gaps once I'm done. Alrighty, we're coming down to the final stretch. So now that we have the butyl nice and sealed back, we're just gonna use this just for some extra protection um, for sealant. So I'm gonna just put an extra coat of sealant around the edges. That way no water or anything gets in. So I'm gonna use the sealant that I got from AutoZone. It was really cheap, about five or $6. I'm going to use this just to seal the edge of the, head, the headlights. Really quick before I put in this headlight, I just wanted to show you guys how it goes back in. It's the same way how you took it out. You're going to get catch the, the first bolt there. And then this second piece here is going to go in. You're going to line it up. It hooks on to your headlight. You're going to line it up. And then you're going to catch the four bolt, two in the front, two in the side. You get those in, uh, align everything properly, and you should be good to go. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, well, right now, it's the next morning. Um, we finished majority of the work last night. And I had to go on the road to go pick up my kids. So once we got the headlights in, I left the bumper off and I went to go get them. Um, but on my way back, I lost one of my fender flares. Yeah, I lost it on the highway coming back. I almost made it too, but this one is still on. And I had it tie wrapped just like this too, but it came right off. But we're not worried about that. When I got back last night, I started doing some of the wiring. Um, so this is what you're gonna get in your lighting trends kit. This is the one for the light. This is one that I had for the grill before. Um, so I went ahead and I bought two 
8 gauge wires, one black, one red, of course. And I got these little connectors. So I can connect this for the ground and that for the actual power. Uh, went ahead and connect those and then I spliced these together. So it can power both at once, splice those together and it's going to this DC converter. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to hide this wiring somewhere under this bezel here and I'll try to run it somewhere here nice and neat because these two cables are coming from the driver side headlight and these two are coming from the passenger side so it's somewhat of a reach I might have to get some extension cables from lighting trends so we'll see how that goes but for now I am going to with this I'm going to wire it and I'm going to try to get these as close as possible to that um, to that point but what I'll do is I'll turn it on for you guys right now so you can see what we have so far and then I'll show you what I'm planning on doing so that's what it's looking like so far, if I can get the camera to focus, my lens is a little bit dirty also, but yeah, that's what it's looking like so far. And then I have the grid lights, but let me show you, I can change the color of this. That's white. And then I have the grid lights that I can turn on as well. And I'm gonna set that up as well. So I'm basically finished. Like I said, all I have to do now is just hide the wiring, make everything look nice. And then I'm gonna put the bumper back on and we should be done. All right, well, here is the final product. After about, I want to say 12 hours of work, maybe, we finally got it done. I also have the grid lights in there. So those are going to complement the headlights once you can see everything properly. But um, we did a really good job. Shout out to my guy, G37 Supreme and Rooney Don. They really came in, helped me out and for two or three people who have never modified a headlight before we did a really damn good job also there's a few just a few imperfections which i can live with but we did a really good job we also have some personal touches in there just a little bit of you know flair to it but it came out good now now the next phase is what i want to do is uh, get the wiring to be a little bit better because right now um, these lights are connected directly to the battery terminal inside the, the hood so it's feeding directly from the battery so it's always on and for you to turn it on and off, you would have to go inside your app and turn it off. Now, it doesn't put that much strain on your battery. Um, if, 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 if your vehicle is a daily driven car, then there won't be much strain on your battery. Because I've had the grill lights for some time now and it's always connected. The only thing that's running is the Bluetooth module. So when it, everything is off, only the Bluetooth module is consuming power. So what I would love to do is wire it in such a way that when I turn the car on, it comes on automatically. Um, so if there's anyone watching this that has done this before and you have that set up, please send me a message, find me on Instagram. Um, let's share information uh, so I can have it that way and then I'll probably if I find out before, I'll more than likely I'll be doing some research 
So if I find out how to do it, I'll definitely do a video and upload it so you guys can have it there as well. Um, but yeah, I love it. The only bad thing about this is that I lost my fender flares. So I'm going to have to find one on eBay maybe. Or if there's anyone out there that has one or know where I can get one, hit me up. Let me know. But yeah, man, I'm loving these lights. And then later on, I'm going to show some more footage when it gets a little bit darker. Um, so yeah.